Welcome to the AW Services YouTube channel and a video on radios. I have purchased a new pair of Balfang BF Bravo Foxtrot-1909 BF 1909s um, Bought these from AliExpress, got a really good deal on them An extremely well made weighty radio that's equal to a, a Motorola You know it's bigger than a BF888 but it's a nice heavy duty dust proof industrial style radio it's got no torch on there just two knobs volume on and off and then you've got your channel up and down on the side you've got your normal monitor buttons your ptt button nice belt clip big battery usb-c rechargeable um this might be probably the second only english video on youtube when I purchased these, I thought, oh, I'll quickly just clone my previous radios. Um, I won't go into it too deep, but I'm a business simple license holder. Um, so I'm licensed to use certain radios. And I thought I'd program these to see how good they are. Couldn't get anything to work whatsoever. Sat there pulling hardly the hair that I've got on my head out pretty much screaming, having a hissy fit, thinking it's not working, it's not working, it's not working. Plugged in my genuine Balfung um, Kenwood style programming lead. Nothing, radio string, no communication to radio. Couldn't get anything to work. Tried Googling everything on Google. There's lots and lots of threads and lots and lots of forums, people having the same problems. Um, watch YouTube videos I found found one video from one gentleman that was English and the rest of them I think there was a Pakistani gentleman on there there was a Polish gentleman nothing I could understand and nothing really about the radio just waffling on about zilch basically but the radio features are there as follows if you wish to pause the screen you can do so now boxes don't actually have Balfung written on them so it led me to think are they genuine I don't know don't care really they work and reversing back to I couldn't get them to program on my thousand pound plus Lenovo Legion gaming laptop Windows 11 I thought ah let me just dig out my old relic Windows 10 Toshiba which I keep one just so that I can do a lot of programming sometimes when things don't work. Plug the radios in, opened up Chirp software, clone radio, bang, it works. So Windows 10 is the way to go for the BF1909 radios. Um, just things to be sure of if you don't know. When you go to programming a radio, make sure it's turned off. Make sure you insert the lead into the radio, insert the lead into the laptop, then turn your radio on. Have it turned on to channel one. Make sure your battery's full. Plug that in and then open up the latest version of Chirp software. But do not unplug it while it's plugged into your laptop because you could damage the EEPROM inside your radio. And things with Chirp as well, make sure you've got the latest version. Make sure your laptop's up to date with its latest drivers. Make sure you've got the driver for this. If you get some of the Chinesium discs that come with the radios, you might not have a disc drive in your laptop. So you're, you know, you're looking on the Balfang website. You can download these drivers. There's a few links on there, but generally I've never used them and I've never even put a CD in a laptop. But yeah, I went onto the Balfung website. These radios do not exist on Balfung UK. And I think it was Balfung Europe and US. They didn't exist, but I believe in America, they're labeled differently. But they're lovely radios, very weighty and heavy, which is brilliant. Um, they are kind of shock resistant as well on the um, the actual listing for them. They are very similar to a Balfung UV9R Pro Plus, which is here. And 
they're much bigger than the BF 888S. So precise comparison. BF 1909s at the rear. UV 9R Plus Pro Plus 9. And then the Bolfung BF 888S. Yeah, it is the S because it's got the removable um, antenna on there. But yeah, so reverting back, I opened up Chirp, I cloned the software from my UV9R and then all I did is copy and pasted it into, a, um, into the image file. So if you're going to copy frequencies, you need to make sure that you're, you've downloaded the radio that you want to clone on first and then you've opened up that vital disk image. You can't clone from a BF888S to a UV9R. It won't work because the disk imaging is different. But you can, however, copy and paste. And then if you copy and paste into the disk image, you've got that data. When I purchased these, these were PMR446 frequency. I don't use 446, it's too congested with um, everybody on there. So I'm business simple license and I've got a range of um, frequencies that I can use within the confines of my license. Um, I use my radios responsibly and that's about it really. So yeah, plug it in, make sure you've got it, make sure Chirp's up to date and then you can basically get them to work. But I hope that this video pops up in front of you and it answers the question, how do I program my Baofeng BF1909? Then this video is the one for you. I haven't tried it on any of the other software that I use, but Chirp is the go-to software for programming radios. If this video has helped you, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, Subscribe, support the channel, help it grow, help it reach others. Press the bell icon for notifications when new videos are published. Give the video a like, give it a share, leave a comment. And if you've got any questions, feel free to write them in the box. And I'll try to answer them as best as I can. But I've been Austin, you've been watching AW Services. Thank you very much.